For all of those who wonder, I am not bald. This video is about how to deal with Amazon seller support. If you sell on Amazon, you know that dealing with Amazon seller support is a nightmare. They are incompetent, they are foolish, they don't want to help. But, because we got to play by their rules, by Bezos and his gosh darn unfair system that I make money on, <laughs> um, we got to do what they say and we got to find tips to get around all this nonsense. So here's a few tips that I do. The first overall tip is to bookmark seller support on your computer. When you go through on the desktop, it's like, oh, have you answered our questions yet? And they want you to fill in this stupid, like, automated uh, FAQ flow where you're like, have you selected these articles to read? Like, yeah, no shit, I know what the rules are, Jeff. I know how to work this game! Bookmark the page, you can totally circumvent that, and you go to this uh, other page where it has all your options. It's like FBA issues, or account issues, or make a suggestion if you're feeling feeling kind. Um, but I bookmarked that page right here. It just says contact seller support, so I can just click there and go to it. The second thing I do is, I mean, after having telling you that I bookmark it, I wait like a week. I always wait as long as I can you know, until I'm gonna forget it or until I'm doing like a batch of reimbursements that I wanna do. Because it takes Amazon like 45 days sometimes to get a refund. And uh, I would rather wait for the money than spend five hours a day complaining with someone across the world. Uh, it just is frustrating and doesn't really help. The third thing that I do to uh, kind of work with this, with this uh, torturous system of customer service, seller service, whatever it is, seller support, is to call them. Uh, if you're like me, you absolutely despise talking to strangers who know nothing. It just I could stop right there, but on the phone. You hate that, and so you hate phone calls with people who obviously are just reading off of a script. It's, uh, it's frustrating to know that someone does not give a shit about you, uh, but only when they say they do. Like, I'm fine if, like, sorry, I can't do anything. I'm an idiot who makes $3 an hour reading off cue cards. Okay, I can deal with that, but just don't be like, oh, sorry, we're trying to best support you. And then when you ask them a question they can't answer, they go, okay, and then go on to their next talking point. It's so, so frustrating. So when I call, I say, listen, I know you can't help me. It's not your fault. Give me your supervisor. And that's like a really shitty move because it thinks of like, oh, you're like some suburban mom. But let me tell you this, getting a cold Chick-fil-A sandwich and someone taking two grand from me, those are two different levels and I think it warrants talking to a supervisor if you owe me $2,000. Is that crazy? Am I wild? Am I out of my mind? No, I'm not. I just like getting my money. So I say, can I talk to a supervisor? They say, oh, we're busy, and they call you back like the same day or the next day. And almost always, those supervisors are, are really helpful because they actually are, uh, are capable of independent thought. The fourth tip, always keep these. This is like the return slip that I got in the box. So one of these boxes you see back here, I got a bunch of returns today because I get them on the middle of the month. Um, they're actually from the 10th, but whatever, that's the point. Uh, these, this has the item name, it has the FN SKU, and it has everything important uh, that they're gonna ask you. They're gonna say, okay, do you have the uh, shipment ID? Do you have the order ID? The order ID isn't actually on here, but you can easily find that by going into your orders and just typing in the FN SKU, which is gonna be this number right here. It begins with an X and then a few zeros. Whoops, that number right there. I keep going to the side of the screen. <laughs> Let's say you've ne you've navigated all the bullshit. You're finally on the phone with someone who is competent and understands like how things work beyond just reading them off of uh, a script they've been given. They're gonna say, "Oh, this is so shitty. I'm so sorry." Blah 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 blah. Do you have any pictures? Boy, do I have pictures because I got a phone. And so whenever I get these returns and they're damaged, I'll show you what happened. I'm just gonna show you. Pause. I sold this. It's a Sony DVD CD player, whatever. That isn't the point. Look at that, it's broken in the corner. It's broken in the corner. Do you know how that happens? It happens from some goddamn moron at an Amazon FBA fulfillment center putting like 
hard. One thing of, of an air pack or like two inches of, of, of void filler in the box. And so it slides around the box, smashes the corner, and it breaks. That's how this happens. And the only person who will believe you is a supervisor. Crazy. Isn't that crazy? But that's how Amazon works. And you just have to be, you know, watching people like me who get upset learning all this shit. And then, uh, you know, you can do it yourself and just do all these steps. To recap, wait, bookmark, seller support, have them call you or call them. Well, they're going to call you back. That's what's good. That's how it goes. You give your phone number and they call you back because they don't want you having their phone number. They call you, ask for a supervisor. What they're going to do then is open the case. You go to the case on your uh, view case page. You upload pictures to that. That's how it works. I mean, they'd explain it to you, but it takes them three hours probably. So I'm just going to tell you right now straightforward upload pictures and uh at that point you're just in their their hands you know it's um are they going to believe you and believe in common sense or are they gonna screw you over and try and get 80 bucks out of you or whatever it is for this i mean there's 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 way 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 more items than just this that i have that have been damaged over the past two weeks <sighs> but hard doing business Everything has its ups and downs. Everything has trials and tribulations. And uh, the people who can successfully navigate those, they're the ones who end up making money. And you want to make money, so you should subscribe to the channel, join the Facebook group, yada, yada, yada. You, you know, you know, you know what to do. I'll see you guys later.